Meanwhile, the attorneys representing Tesha Miller are insisting that the 38-year sentence handed down on their client is too much. Here's TVJ's Anthony Lug with that angle. Excessive, the word used by attorney Bert Samuels about the sentencing time handed down on his client, Tesha Miller, in the home circuit court on Thursday. Miller, who was sentenced to 38 years and nine months in prison for excessive before and after the fact of murder, is said to be the man who ordered the killing of then JUTC chairman Douglas Chambers. In this same courtroom in 2016, black man who they said we sent to kill this gentleman was acquitted by a jury. And today, Mr. Miller is sentenced to 39 years and nine months for sending black man who is acquitted to go and kill this gentleman. Attorney Bert Samuels expressed grief for the family of Douglas Chambers. So too, the state of the law applied in this case, arguing that it does not look right. Before handing down the sentencing, the judge said she took into consideration all the aggravating and mitigating factors. We asked how he felt about these references made by the judge. That is something to be studied when the notes are produced. We don't like to comment on the judging sentence because, you know, it's, it is the judge and she's entitled to impose the sentence that she thinks to be right. There are stated guidelines and there are cases which I brought to the court's attention where persons were charged and convicted for three counts of murder, three people dead, four people dead, and they didn't get that level of sentence. So that's something we're going to take across the street to say that it is disproportionate and it is out of line with the others. But if you are so confident that the conviction will be set aside, why worry about the sentence? But with Mr. Samuels expressing that confidence and his intent to appeal, Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Llewellyn is insisting justice was served. As for the intent of the defense to appeal... We operate in our system of justice in an adversarial um, scenario. And I could understand, having been an experienced prosecutor myself, why my learned friends would say so. But they will always have the avenue of going to the Court of Appeal. And in the Court of Appeal, which is where we practice every day, um, from the office of the DPP, we will be ready to meet any argument from my learned friends as a matter of law in any area. Anthony Log, TVJ News.